Family members have beautiful memories of Deborah Limmer and her five-year-old granddaughter Delaney Gaddis, but also, according to the family attorney, unimaginable grief. Jennifer Gaddis lost her five-year-old daughter and her 62-year-old mother in the same event. The two were hit and killed two years ago as Deborah pushed Delaney in a stroller on the sidewalk along Girdwood Road near Treherne Road in Timonium. Investigators say the driver, who's now serving a prison sentence, was impaired and speeding when she veered onto the sidewalk. But according to a lawsuit filed by the family, she was also driving on an extremely dangerous stretch of road that they say Baltimore County has failed to address for decades. It's our allegation that the intersection in this community, in this neighborhood, was designed negligently, constructed negligently, and maintained negligently, which allowed drivers to speed through for decades. When this accident occurred, they didn't even have a stop sign at the intersection. The complaint is more than 100 pages long and alleges a sharp bend in the roadway that funnels traffic at high speeds, plus a lack of signage, road markings, or a median or island to help slow down traffic. It also includes documented complaints from neighbors predicting tragedy at the intersection for decades. That's what Jennifer's always said, that her daughter and mother would be alive today if the county had done what they were supposed to do. The Gaddis and Limmer families believe that the county needs to be held accountable for the negligent design of this intersection. They want them to set, step up and say, yes, we were wrong. And so Baltimore County will be officially served with the lawsuit paperwork tomorrow. The county did issue a statement today not addressing the lawsuit specifically, but sending condolences to the families. Reporting live in Baltimore County tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.